Hi, in this video, I wanted to show you something I do for all my buyers early on. This is after they narrow down their choice of homes to two or three. You know, it's very important to understand the differences in the financing for each one of these homes. So in this particular case, we have a property. It's currently listed. It's listed at 645000 this would be a conventional loan with 10% down and interest rate of about 7%. So I want to give you that scenario. And so the loan will be in the amount of 580, 500. You'll need a down payment of 64,500. This information gives you the estimate on property taxes. So next is the closing cost, because a lot of potential buyers think that they only have to deal with a down payment and they forget about that there's other costs involved in buying a home. So here we have the closing costs laid out, all the different options. So total closing costs for this particular home will be $12,031. So that's the closing costs. And then there are some prepaids that a lot of times lenders want to have taken care of up front, property taxes and so forth. So then we get to the payment. So in this scenario, 10% down, purchasing a $645,000 home at a 7% interest rate, you have the principal in interest payment of 386208. There's real estate taxes, homeowners insurance, and these are all estimates. And then a biggie, which again, buyers don't see the picture all the time, there is a mortgage insurance involved, and that's $377.32. Anytime you put down less than 20%, you're going to have to deal with PM, what's referred to as PMI. You can eventually get rid of it as the equity in your home gains, and if it's more than 20% and the lender agrees, they, they can potentially drop that down the road. Other expenses, this particular home has an HOA payment of 10 bucks a month. And then there's Melarus taxes that are you, you have to take into consideration of 7809. So your total monthly payment is going to be $5,214.37. And then you'll need total cash to close. 88,759.34. And I wanted to jump back to this Melrose because another name for Melrose is special assessments. And I can potentially show you here on this particular property. The special assessments are all laid out and you have a total here for, and this is for the year 937 and 12 cents so you divide that by 12 to see how it affects your monthly payment and you have to be very careful with this because some of the newer homes this could be 9,000 for the year and could be very very expensive and add significantly to your payment so that's this scenario and to see just so if we take the down payment up to 20%, and again, it's 30 years. So now the loan is 516,000. You'll need 129,000 for a down payment. Closing costs aren't gonna change. It's still 11,309 prepaid items. So now your principal and interest payment is 34, 32, 96. You have real estate taxes, 671.88. Estimated homeowner's insurance to be 215 That could be higher, could be lower, depending upon where you're at. HOA is still going to be $10 in this case. That doesn't change. And 7809 the Melarus or special assessments <clears throat> doesn't change. So now your monthly payment drops down to 
dollars and 84 cents but this time at the close of you're going to have to come up with 151,406 dollars and 45 cents to get this particular property closed so that's it this is tom olsuski with team olsuski and exp realty i hope this information is helpful and if you're in the process of looking and you want to see what these numbers are for a particular property please reach out to me the contact information will be below i'd be glad to help you out with that so that's it for now make it a great day